everybody, Lisa Romani here, the Breakthrough Life Coach, and today I want to address something that I think a lot of us go through, but I haven't had or heard anyone talk about it. What we're trying to accomplish as human beings is basically integration, which is we're trying to integrate the past with what we're experiencing in the now. We're trying to understand our now. Why do I do what I do, say what I do, and behave the way I do, and feel the way I do? Why do I vibrate and resonate with this? I don't want this, but why does this, meaning my 3D reality, why does that keep showing up? If you don't like what's showing up in the 3D reality, then you need to stop and ask yourself why you think what's showing up is showing up. And I can tell you that what's showing up is a mirror to what you've experienced in the past. Now, that's not bad news because we can, as creators incarnate, we can actually change what's happening in the matrix. We can actually change what's happening outside of ourselves in the 3D world, but not until we learn how to master what's happening to us in the mind, in the metaphysical world. Not until we can change the messages and that we are streaming to the uh, pineal gland and we can change what we're, what we're resonating with. And once we change our resonance, then we resonate with different things. That's when our outer world will begin to show evidence to us that we've actually changed. Because if I'm having resistance in the outer world, that means there's resistance inside of me. And most often the times, the resistance is related to some type of cognitive dissonance. So cognitive dissonance represents, it's a nice fancy word, for, um, to explain psychological dissonance, where I'm holding two conflicting beliefs about one thing at the same time. So I want to love myself, but I don't think that I'm worthy. I want to attract abundance, but I'm not sure that I have the ability to, to create abundance, right? I want to be happy, but I'm not sure that, you know, anybody's really happy. I want to uh, be free of this relationship, but I'm really afraid of what the neighbors are going to think. I want to try a different career path, but you know what? I went to school for six years and I have a degree and I'm not, I'm not so sure I'll be able to make money doing this other thing. That's cognitive dissonance. And so what'll happen is, let's say I want to change a career paths. If I have cognitive dissonance over doing so, then my current life experience will, will be problematic and there'll be lots of resistance, lots of resistance. That's because I'm not lined up with what I really, really want. That's because I have reality A over here, reality B over here. I want reality B, but I don't know. I'm in, not in alignment with reality B, right? So all the messages in my mind are, I can't do that. I can't do that. This is why I can't do that. And so I am not in alignment with what I really, really want. There is resistance to what I really want. There is resistance to my believing that I can create what I really, really want. And so in the real world, in the 3D world, I will experience resistance on many, many different levels until I finally go non-resistant to what I feel and what I want. And I begin to act in the 3D world upon that which I desire. If you want to experience abundance, then you must believe that you're worthy and you have to act on that. You know, that is like, that is like creating a clear channel to the universe. Like, hey, this is what I want. And this is me proving that I am worthy of this. And in a short amount of time, you shall attract what you desire. As long as you stay in alignment and non-resistance to what you really want. While you're on the healing path, it's really important to recognize this idea of going non-resistant to how you feel and embracing the path as you go. So while you're on the healing path, just remember that when you discover something, I call it a pop, a pocket of pain. When you discover the truth. And it could be that you really were abused, right? And all these years you, your family told you that you were crazy or whatever. And you realize, you really come to the realization that this was messed up. Like I was really abused. Accept how you feel. So if you need to watch Netflix all weekend, if you need to make yourself some chicken soup, if you need to tell your friends you need a break, listen to yourself. Be non-resistant to what is embrace what is love yourself love your inner child waking up in the morning and looking in the mirror and seeing the black eyes and seeing the scars in your body that's difficult facing our truth is difficult and there is a sense of loss there and there is a sense of grief that is mixed with relief when we realize that we have been abused it's never a fun process to recognize that you have experienced something traumatic in the past that you may have once denied 
it's never a fun process, but it is part of the process. We've come to come full circle. We've come to acknowledge what's happened, how we are in the now, acknowledge how our past has created this now experience so that we can become non-resistant to how we feel and what is and, and the past so that we can successfully manifest what we desire truly and what our soul is in alignment with in the future. And so for us to come full circle and become energetic beings that are in alignment with our soul's desire, then the healing path is all part of that process. I am not one that believes that you can just forget the past. It's activated inside of you. And until it's released and almost neutralized through the healing process, then it's still activated inside of you. And there's always just so, so far you'll be able to go. And even if you achieve certain successes, on some level, this part of you that you've not been able to heal is still activated. So I think our goal is to wish to, as much as possible, heal whatever activated energies we have within our being that may be holding us down and having us resonate with the frequency with something that we don't want to attract. It could be uh, attracting narcissistic people into our lives or, you know, we resonate with dysfunction or we resonate with resistance. You know, the goal is to really neutralize those vibrations within our being so that we can come into full integration and learn what it is to keep our bodies calm and then to create visions in our head that match our future desired reality. And then you know, it's all about mastery, right? So then once I get to that level, then my job is to be able to stay in a state of anticipation of, or even receptivity, almost absolutely living as if what I want, I've already experienced. So it's not, I'll be happy when I get the job, or I'll be happy when I find love, or I'll be happy when my cancer is in remission, or I'll be happy when my son does this, I'll be happy when I do that, or when I get that. No, you have to be happy now. You have to imagine that what you wish to experience has already manifested, because what we think about and what we're resonating with, we're actually bringing about good, bad, beautiful, or ugly. And it's not that the universe is doing anything wrong. The universe is lining us up two by two. So vibration with vibration, reality, internal reality with external reality. As it is below, so shall it be above. We're trying to learn how to master all of that. And the healing path and recognizing what's happened in the path so that we can process it, release it, and neutralize the energy related to it in our bodies is essential if we want to become clear paths and strongly magnetized for love, abundance, contentment, and peace, which is every soul's birthright.